Hey everyone, I am Emer from OFG Animation Studio YouTube channel. We are together with another handful tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can edit the templates that you have downloaded from Enmato Elements. I will show you all the details that could be helpful for you. Alright, please make sure you subscribe the channel and smash the like button. I don't want to waste your time, let's get started. So first of all, I want to show you and what elements you should write. You should type an elements.nmoto.com and you can see this page. There are lots of soundtracks, video templates, After Effects project files, graphics, as you see, photos, many more. So for instance, if you want to download a template, you just need to come here, video templates and click After Effects. So for instance, if you want to download this template, click here. And if you have an account, you can just download it or you can use just for 7 day free. Okay, let's jump into After Effects and let's see how we can edit the template that I have downloaded from Enmato Elements. So here we are in After Effects. As you see, I have this template. Okay, perfect. Let's see the layer and project files. For instance, when you come to the project file, there are some uh, assets for instance this is uh, free particles as you see we can see on the timeline and this is logo so there is logo of apple google at the end of the template as you see here those logos belongs to here and they are composition there are other materials like composition of font and solid layers uh, so I have already imported the uh, graphics that I want to show you. I want to add uh, to on this template. Okay, perfect. Let's come to the timeline. As you see, uh, there are some compositions and shape layers. So this is the fade-in layer. Click U on the keyboard so that you can see the keyframe. There is just opacity keyframe which starts from from. 100 to 0 as you see in addition there is also white fade out here at the end of the template click u on the keyboard and it is 0 the opacity is 0 and then it is 100 so we can see how the designer has created this template all right this is a video three particles you can see here on the scene these little particles and when you click toggle switch you can see the mode has been chosen as screen all right so you can change this from this uh, drop down menu all right let's come to the here those layers uh, so we couldn't understand uh, what they are if they are adjustment layer or no layer uh, we just need to come here toggle switch and we can understand that they are adjustment layer from this icons so come here to the effect controls when you click on it and we can see the effect that has been applied for instance pure saturation sharpen and curves has been applied to this adjustment layer again come to the color control so there are some control parameters uh, so for instance when you want to change the color of background this is bg as you see come here and change like bluish color for instance so as you see it is done if you want you can change the text uh, come here and change change the color as yellow color just an example as you see you can change whatever color you want let's change it uh, white again okay and there is also drop shadow color app color b and color control for each shape's color you can change those uh, back, those uh, colors as well okay let's come to the here there are some shapes for instance uh, let's un make make it invisible so we couldn't understand what it, what it is press u on the keyboard let's see the keyframe i think this is as you see this is this shape so make sure you see the keyframes for each layer and make it visible or invisible so that you can understand 
which layer is which shape is okay perfect you can do same thing for other shape layers all right you can see the keyframes all right perfect it is this is just uh, a solid layer and this is a gray color come to here layer solid settings you can change this color as well from this uh, menu and there is also audio file audio layer when you click on it you can just put your audio here and it will be automatically played in the project all right come come again to the final composition let's change uh, the text and put an image here so uh, this is as you see this is scene one scene two and scene three it gone it goes on like that so we have just 10 scenes and the 10th scene is the last scene as you see here and they are separated in a sequence as you see we can see them in a row all right let's change this name this text and put a scene here put a graphic or an image here so click on it and uh, there is a text composition the font is here and other text is here uh, so let's come to the for instance phone click on it and this is screen there are other shapes as you see uh, so there are also adjustment layer let's see what it has basically it has a three tone color and color control for this shape so come again to the scene one click on it and again choose the scene one click on it again there is there are two scenes in this composition let's choose this scene one and come to the project panel let's open our screenshots here for instance i choose this one and put it here all right good but we need to fit to the comp so right click transform and fit to comp all right perfect okay come again to the scene one scene zero one we can see the image that we have added to this composition perfect job again come to the scene one and let's put another image here so i choose this one and put it here again right click transform and fit the comp all right good let's come here and we can see the image again here all right perfect again come to the final comp let's see here we have added the image and see the animation here press and on the keyboard let's see just this area preview this area excellent job first image and then the second image as you see in just a few clicks we have added the images that we want if you want you can change the name i mean the text here so come here again form one i think it was on form zero one no scene one okay here text to click on it and choose minimal app promo click on it let's type our excellent let's again come to scene one see our text here let's jump into the final comp and see our text on the main scene perfect job as you understand everyone we need to be sure for each parameter for each effect for each keyframe and we can edit them according to our wish all right everyone if you find this video helpful please like the video because it helps a lot on youtube algorithm and if you want to see similar tutorials make sure you write your thoughts on the comment section below we will take into consideration your comments thanks for watching this tutorial and i will see you later take care